any of them, if any of these have Ryan Reynolds in it, it's a no. Ah, oh, it was brilliant. Hi, I'm Stephen with VT, and today I'm talking to Hugh Jackman and Tandaway Newton about their new movie, Reminiscence. You're going on a journey. A journey through memory. All you have to do is follow my voice. First of all, what was it that drew you to the script? Lisa Joy, the writer-director who of Westworld fame, came and saw me, uh, told me not to uh, read the script before I see it, and she just explained the world to me, the character, and the fact that, that she'd written this five or seven years before and had been waiting, and she said, I didn't really believe at the time, that I was the, the only person she had in mind. I just thought Brad had turned down the path. But uh, <laughs> I found it to be unique and original and sort of, she had a confidence to set up genres and then break them and then put them back together again. It just felt fresh to me. The character was something I hadn't done before. I knew for audiences it was going to be something they hadn't seen before. And so that they were all the reasons I jumped on. It was a really easy yes. And Tedaway, could you talk us through um, your character of Watts and how that role developed over time? I named my daughter Ripley after Sigourney Weaver's character in Alien. That character does not sacrifice her femininity, her vulnerability, all the things you you know normally associate with female. And she's also kick-ass. So that's my inspiration for what a woman is. So what's, yeah, we both decided that just because I'm petite, you know, why can't I be the person that saves this guy six foot something tall's life? That's what happens in reality, often. Once we kind of got over the stereotype problem, we just had the best time ever. Don't go down this path. Stay here in this life. I've turned a blind eye to plenty. I have to do this. That machine of yours, how close can you get before the illusion's broken? You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice. Why do you think uh, this movie will resonate with audiences so much right now? Uh, I think we are particularly right now living in a world where there is a lot of anxiety about the future. There's anxiety about the present and the carrot of living, cherry picking and living in the greatest hits of your past, you know, and literally reliving them is super, super uh, enticing to a lot of people. But as our movie says, you know, even when things are uncomfortable or things are anxiety ridden, we have to find a way to be in the present and find a way forward. And Tandaway, could you talk us through how you first got involved in the movie? I was already working with Lisa Joy. We've been working together for the last seven years on Westworld. I witnessed her direct for the very first time one of the episodes in season two. I uh, love her, admire her, I'm thrilled for her with what she's managing to achieve. This is her first movie. It's like, I don't know how that's possible that she can create this as a first feature, but I can as well, because I know her. So when she asked me if I wanted to play Watts, my first response was absolutely not, Lisa. You, you need to get the best person. We're friends. Like, no, 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 no. You know, you need to go and find one of those, those people. And she's like, but, 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 and it was a wonderful dance of like, oh, ee, ah. And then by the time we got to it, we just, Oh, it was brilliant. And seeing as this movie is all about memories, if you could get into one of your character's pods and relive a memory from your own past, what would you choose and why? My father took me to, you're too young to know this, but in 1977, Australia and England had a centenary test. It was 100 years since the first test uh, that had been played in Australia, I think. And I was eight. We drove 14 hours to Melbourne with my brothers. We went to the game the next day and I went to the bathroom 30 minutes into it and inadvertently walked out of the stadium looking for the bathroom and I didn't have a ticket. So I was lost for most of the day crying. And my memory of what is often recalled, particularly in Australia, as one of the greatest games of all time, all I remember is crying sitting outside, you know, and people looking at me weirdly. So I'd love to go back and at least, I just want to see one ball bowled by Dennis Lilly or... Nice. Even Bob Willis, I'll take it. 
And speaking of memories, I'm going to pick out moments from your past and I want you to tell me if you would happily relive them in the pod or if you would rather leave them in the past for good. Any of them, if any of these have Ryan Reynolds in it, it's a no, so you can move on. They don't. They do not. Um, so your, your first date? Uh, oh, yeah, relive. And your first job? Oh, definitely not relive. Fired. Fired three weeks in. Your first car? Um, no. Two accidents in that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> and I end up leaving it on a highway. And finally, your first acting role? Um, <laughs> pass. Embar I'm embarrassed. <laughs> just that I thought just came to me. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. That's all I've got. Um, but Bye -bye. I promise you, this this will be a memory that I reminisce about a long time in the future. Good on you, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. That was fun. Thank you very much. Thank you.